Well, this is your devotional for Wednesday, June 30, and we're looking at Proverbs chapter 25. And again, there's a bunch of lessons. We're going to just kind of, kind of hone in on three of them and ask the Holy Spirit to speak to our hearts. So here's lesson number one. Be humble. Or kind of the other side of that coin is beware of pride. Be a humble person, avoid pride. Listen to these words from verses 6 and 7 of Proverbs chapter 25. Do not exalt yourself in the king's presence, and do not claim a place among great people. It is better for him to say to you, come up here, than for him to humiliate you before his nobles. What's the point? Don't put yourself in a place of exaltation where somebody has, comes up and says, hey, you know what? That's not your seat. Your seat's way over there. Better to let somebody notice and say, hey, come on up here. Beware of pride, self-exaltation. All of us can deal with that. But God says, have humility, have grace, lift others up, and let God lift you up in the ways he wants to. Lesson number two. We find this in verse 16 of Proverbs 25. Be moderate. Be moderate. What do I mean by that? Well, listen to the passage. This, this is just a sweet little picture here. Sweet, and I didn't even mean that in a funny way, but listen to this. It says, if you find honey, eat just enough. Too much of it, and you will vomit. Isn't that a beautiful picture? <laughs> What's the point? Be wise. Be moderate. No one to say enough is enough. Whatever that is. Whether it's, some, whether it's a sweet food, whether it's a hobby you're involved in, whether it's how you spend your free time, there's times where you can say, you know what, that's enough of that. My life isn't all about that. There's something wonderful about a little bit of honey, but you eat an entire jar of it and you're gonna probably end up uh, expressing yourself and bringing that back up again. So the warning is to be moderate. How does God want you to be moderate in the area of your life where you get excessive, you get excited, and you kind of get out of control? Bring that under the Lordship of Jesus. And then lesson number three, be discerning. Be discerning. Let's look at verse 20. We read these words. Like one who takes away a garment on a cold day, or like vinegar poured on a wound, is one who sings songs to a heavy heart. What's the point? Be, be discerning. You don't walk into a hospital room of somebody who's very, very sick and say, how's it going? I got a joy. I heard this great joke. So you, you walk in and you assess the situation. Boy, there's, people have tears in their eyes. Oh, wait a minute. They're not feeling great right now. Be discerning. And, and so, so in, the, in, this, in this one little verse, if you sing songs to a heavy heart, be aware, be discerning. Where's this person at? How are they feeling? And there's something about slowing down, looking closely at people in their eyes, watching what's going on. There's times for laughter and a good joke. There's time for quietness and tears. The question is, which time is this? Be discerning and let the Holy Spirit lead you in that. Lord Jesus, thank you for the book of Proverbs. Thank you for these, just these beautiful little nuggets, these lessons that can touch our hearts, our minds, and transform our lives. Help us live out your word. Help us be doers of the word and not hearers only. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I want to give you a special invitation that this coming Sunday, things are changing at Shoreline. It's been a season of change, but here's what's happening. We will be having two services on Sundays for the summertime, 9 o'clock and 11. And at 9 and 11, we'll have the exact same thing going on. Online services, in the worship center services, family worship venue indoor services, and outdoor on a jumbotron services at 9 and 11. No need to register. Social distancing if you want it. Wear a mask if you want it. But if not, it's open seating. Masks aren't required. Look forward to seeing you this Sunday in worship. God bless you.